takeaways from the tennis program here at CMR. The main one being they head to Missoula this week for the Class AA State Tournament, a moment a lot of these kids have been working towards for the past four years. And all that hard work really has paid off because, well, they're really good. Let's start in the present. Between both the girls and boys teams, they send four doubles pairings and five singles players, including senior Ruby Jennings to State, who goes in as the number two seed from the North. She's seen firsthand the growth of the program her last four years. I mean, as a freshman, when my, my coaches had their first year, and I've gotten to see the team build, you know, have players come, new players come in each year, and I've seen the coaches, you know, build new techniques and all of us improving, and it's, it's really exciting to see it all pay off, especially in my senior year. I'm really glad I got to see it. As Jennings mentioned, she wasn't the only one starting her tennis journey at CMR four years ago. Boys coach Byron Boyd and girls coach Valerie Skeevel began their tenure as CMR's new coaching duo when Jennings was a freshman but it wasn't their first time walking the tennis courts as wrestlers. You know, it's, it's been great because I trust her completely and we have the exact same philosophy. Um, we basically had the same coaches growing up, so we have the same idea of, you know, what wrestler tennis should be in. Both were CMR standouts. Both went to play at Montana State University. Both have spent 25 plus years as teaching professionals and both were hired in tandem to coach the tennis teams together. Now they're seeing the fruits of their labor and experience pay off. Yeah, it feels really good for Byron and I to see, you know, our effort as well as all the kids efforts over the last four years. They've worked really hard. We've introduced a lot of new things to the program that they have embraced. But a closer glance at the roster reveals two interesting members that added great skill and cultural diversity. Munich foreign exchange student Leah Stoltner and Luca Alvisi from Italy. Both will be at state competing in singles, but for Alvisi, his one year as a wrestler allowed for him to be competitive in athletics, but more importantly, make new friends. Yeah, this team is like really good team. I'm really happy that I've made really good friends in this team. I think everyone is really close to each other. But for Alvisi and the rest of the team, they only have one goal going into Missoula this week. So, the best goal for me would be placing a state. It means going to the Hall of Fame at school. And the best goal for the team would be hanging a rag. Dylan Foreman, MTN Sports.